Well, it's uh, 11.15, Surf Church Sunday. I'm headed to pick up some lawnmower blades and some knives out in the Sandbridge area. I've got the Equinox with me. I think I'm going to go to Sandbridge and hunt for an hour or so and then pick up the lawnmower blades and the uh, knives afterwards. I talked to the knife guy and he's tied up right now. That's one reason I'm doing it that way. We'll have to see how it goes. The, the tie's going to be wrong for beach hunting, but I got a feeling there might be some stuff up high at Sandbridge. Well, we have to see. We'll just take exercise spin anyway. We'll see how it goes. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Well, here's the restaurant. There's the big water tower. Here's the beach entrance, or several several beach entrances. Condominiums, depositors. Lots of look at the depositors. I like it. That's like a little market that's been here for years. And there, like I said, the big water tower. Fire station. This is a nice little community. Big rental area in the summertime. People come down and rent houses, you know, for a week or three days or a month. For little or nothing, right? Good luck on that. Stand by. Now, if you had a special permit, you could drive through that gate right there. Drive right down on the beach and drove and go right to the Outer Banks if you wanted to. Sixty years ago, I came down here a lot. We used to ride up and down on this beach. But I guess 50 years, 40 years ago, they made it only for property owners and commercial fishermen to get a pass to ride up and down this beach now. So it's all private, so to speak. So we can't go down there. But that was, that's a quite a, it's a really interesting trip. You just go right, drive off on the beach and pluck them, just like you go down an exit. Straight shot. They got a little community called Corova, and they got a little, another community just to pass that called Corolla. One's in North Carolina, one's in Virginia. They're side, it's not side by side, but relatively close. This is part of the old Coast Guard station that used to be here. They had a Coast Guard station here, they had one south of us, and they had one at the Landonado on 24th Street, which is like a little museum nowadays. This is where we're going to park at. Little Island Coast Guard Station. Doesn't seem to be many people here, which... I'm surprised. It's, it's a nice day. It's a shade windy. These are all about picnic tents and all where people come down and barbecue and have fun in the summertime. So there's lots of depositors come down here. Stand by. So you probably won't be able to hear much. I'll try to show you some numbers and stuff when we get there. shrapnel down this way from Dam Neck which is a few miles that way Dam Neck well I'm about almost halfway to the fence that's where the ramp is where you can go down on the beach I found three quarters and a, put, a bottle tap that's it I've been here 40 minutes I guess so it's kind of bleak and cold as well digger's ass in Alaska. God, I'll get back to you. Hey, 
18 scoops deep. 18 scoops. I'll be five minutes filling it in. Sounded good too. Wish it should sound good. There's a bench under there somewhere. A lot of sand, a lot of sand moved in. Ooh, baby. You can see where some bolts or something have been through it. But you can see it's really old, I think. I don't know if it's a shipwreck timber or just something from a bulkhead or what. But it's got some iron right there. I couldn't find any brass in it. Some more iron right here. Hard to say where that is, but it's nice. Okay. successful at reaching out to the guy with more blades he's got like 12 or 15 more blades I've done them twice already last year he does them about two times a year so maybe that's a bust today but I am getting ready to pick up a few knives from the knife guy I'm about 10 minutes away I think more bad news, sad news to share with you. I don't know why I didn't do it when I first started this video, but I guess it slipped my mind. In my videos in the past years, so going back maybe 10 years, we've had a fellow that's uh, started hunting with us on a regular basis from Halifax, North Carolina. We call him Superman. His name was Stuart. And I doubt any of y'all will remember him, but he always kind of wore a Superman shirt. So we... <laughs> They call him Superman. Well, a couple months ago, he got bad off with kryptonite. And uh, he passed away this morning. He was a young guy in his 50s. Bad kryptonite got him. Rest in peace, my buddy Stuart. That's all it is, ladies and gentlemen. You never know. Well, we finally met up with the guy with the knives. We're headed home now, finally. While I've been out dicking around with knives and at that location where I was, the Mumbles Man and Beaver have been smoking the gold. Both of them got big, fat gold rings. I mean, nice tickitos, too. I'll put the pictures in the back so you can see them. Both of them look like clash rings. Denny's is uh, broken at the bottom, but it's a great old big one, 1979. I couldn't tell what Beaver's was, but it looks like it's a clash ring of some sort. 14K, I think Denny's is 10. And a whole lot of other stuff. I mean, that, that they were on a hot goose, both of them. Okay, I'll get back to you. It's cold like it was, you know. It hadn't changed much. Well, there are the knives. It's a whole set of uh, Wustoffs. Chef's slicer, utility, boner, two pairs. I like Wustoffs. Nice knives. Now it's uh, Monday morning about 11. You can see it's blowing. Still blowing. And Beaver's got more gold. Got another gold ticket this morning. I don't think the Mumbles man went today. Not that I blame him. And we got two more items of uh, neat sharpening. We got a nice Shun Chef knife and my first pair ever of Shun scissors. 
Pretty cool scissors too. Because everything Shun makes is pretty cool, you know. Pretty expensive. But I like them. Okay, I'll add Beaver, Beaver's other gold ring to this post. From today, Monday. I see you. I'm having some apples and cheese. The carnivore makes I'm having steak. Here comes Boo Boo. Let's get right to the gold. Gold in their scoops. That's beavers. From yesterday, I think. That's a nice tiquita. So random. That's that's Denny's nut from yesterday. That's his class ring when he found it. Kind of cleaned up. 10K. There it is right there. Got the whole back knocked out of it. Stuff from the day. Now there's a... That's Beaver's nut from this morning, I think. There's his tickets from this morning. A little 10K. Eight grams, I think he said. A silver dolphin ring and a silver ring and a Russian coin. That's the living end right there. Gold, Equinox gold. That little baby's turning out to be a fine heater for the beach. I'll get back to you tomorrow. Take it easy.